Hey guys, Gretchen's Bakery here with another quick video. I wanted to give you another alternative buttercream recipe for those that may be sensitive to chickpeas. But let me rewind. Chickpeas, you may be asking, yes, if you haven't already heard about the magical beans and the water that comes from a can of them, well, we whip that up and make meringues with it just like egg whites. So I have already shared with you my recipe for aquafaba Swiss meringue buttercream and let me tell you it is truly magical. But some people have a sensitivity to chickpeas and they are missing out on this luscious icing. So I am here to show you an alternate way to make that same icing but with flax instead. If you watch my videos, you probably already know that I use flax meal as an egg replacer in many of my recipes. Well, flax seeds, as well as chia seeds, chickpeas, and believe it or not, okra, and many other plants actually, they all have a naturally occurring substance called mucilage. It is this gelatinous, gluey type goo that binds other ingredients in recipes, just like eggs. But here is the mind blower. When you whip it up, it acts just like egg whites, making perfect meringues. And behold, my aqua flaxa buttercream recipe. Yes, I made that name up. Check it out. You will need to make your flax egg whites first though, and it is done simply by boiling whole flax seeds with some water until it is reduced and very gooey and gloopy. This will probably take 20 minutes to 40 minutes really, depending on the size of the batch that you're making, and the written recipes are all on my blog, so be sure to click through to get the exact measurements. All the links are below. So once it has reduced down to this gloopy, gooey mess, you will strain it and you can now use these whites, in quotations, in your recipes just like eggs. But I'm going to take it one step further to make my Swiss buttercream recipe by adding some sugar to that hot mucilage and then let it cool down. You will then whip it to a billowy, frothy, amazing meringue with a bit of cream of tartar to help the structure stay stable and then add in the sifted confectioner's sugar. Slowly add in the vegan butter and the shortening while whipping it on high speed until it's all incorporated. It may seem like it's starting to break, meaning your emulsion is separating. Now, I did a whole separate video on how to save a broken buttercream, so you might want to click through um, to go check out that one as well. But don't fear, with high speed whipping, it will come together to a smooth, silky buttercream icing perfect for all your cakes and cupcakes. This buttercream also takes well to colors and flavors, and for me, this is just the ultimate because it's just not too sweet. I've used it recently on my white chocolate cranberry cake and let me tell you, just perfection. So I do hope you'll try it. Just head on over to GretchensVeganBakery.com to grab the recipe. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Also subscribe here to my channel for more great vegan recipes weekly. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, happy baking. I'll see you soon.